Hello everyone, my name is Bubble Zest, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. In today's video, we'll be doing the achievements to snook them and New World Order. So let's begin, shall we, with Italy's army. Italy has one of the larger armies in the game to start, so let's gather up all the units in Italy and Libya and put them on a full back line. We can deal with them later. For the units facing Ethiopia, before we deal with them, what we're going to do is release Eritrea and Somalia as our puppets. A simple reason for this means that we can bypass the focus Ethiopian war logistics and they'll put out a load of troops. So gather up these units here in Eritrea and put them on a front line and a spearhead toward Addis Ababa. And now for these units, assign them to the same general but put them in Somalia and do the very same. Give them Messi here, it's probably the best Italy has to start. For research slots, just obviously do the standard electronics and industry to start. Italy has four research slots which is very good. We'll get out the L6 as it's very useful. Now for our military factories and civilian factories, we're going to build more of them. We just need a lot of them to pull this one off. Now for our dockyards, we're going to dump pretty much all of these ships that will go nowhere, but spam out a load of these subs, put them on infinite and have them deployed to this fleet, and then put convoys in it or any others. Spam out 15 military factories on guns, drop the close air support, put 10 military factories into the tanks, put five into support equipment, and put around three into artillery. Now for focus, we're not going to be doing any focus until we get around 4850 political power, so let's go to speed five and begin. But before we do, make sure Messi is on aggressive, like so, and make sure that your army has its field marshal. We just want, we just want Messi to get as many traits and the like as we can. That's what we're going to do. We're gonna order him to smash his head against the Ethiopians. Right, we have 50 political power, and what we are immediately going to do is justify on the Judge East Indies. Do it for Sumatra, and there we go. Now we'll just wait until we have 10 political power and we'll start doing focuses. And there we go, we've got it. Now we're going to do industrial effort. Right, that's industrial effort, now we're going to do industrial effort 2. Italy's focus tree is not very in depth, but it will do the trick. Now, however long you want to do the Ethiopian War, you have until at least September before the war with the Netherlands begins. Now, Giovanni has around organizer, infantry leader, and mountaineer, which is to me around good enough, so I'm going to begin to finish up this war. Right, industrial effort is over, and of course, extra research slot. No contest there. With the L6 researched, make sure you spell out a load of those, but just do the standard research from this point on. Upgrade your army and whatever it is you like to do to do it. Oh, I didn't believe it myself, but it, Ethiopia is dead. <laughs> there we go. Now we need to get ready with our war with the, with the Netherlands. But before we do that, let's make Messi our field marshal. He's better than any of the ones Italy has. Now give him things like Logistics Wizard and the ones that you see, find useful. Right, immediately next we are going to join Germany. There we go. Now, cancel any fallback lines you have here and prepare for a naval invasion of the Netherlands. So, let's grab these small tanks and a few infantry divisions. They're all we need. There we go. Put put them from Wilhelmshaven to hit these, these three tiles here. And there you go. And send the rest of your army there too. In fact, there we go. Now they'll go there. Now we need to change our templates around because Italy's templates are rubbish. So let's make the tank at least a 20 width. There we go, a simple 20 width, not the best, but again, we, it's the best we'll do. There we go. And for Italy's infantry template, let's just make that a simple 20 width block. There we go. And add support artillery if you want. I'm not going to do ju that just yet. But that's why doing the War of Ethiopia is so useful. The more XP you can get, the better. There we go. Now, Italy has 39 divisions, that's not enough for what we're going to do. So we're also going to start training a load more units. Around 72 we need, so we'll train 18 to start, and we'll just spam out as many as we can until we get 72. Additionally, gather up Italy's navy, all of it. Just make it one giant, giant death stack. There we go. Merge it all together and send it to Wilhelmshaven. With extra research shot done, we're going to do Army Primacy and 
after that any focus you want to do is up to you i advise not doing however claims on yugoslavia as that increases our world tension right our justification on the dutch east indies is ready let's put our navy on strike force here they our troops are ready to go and now let's declare war on the dutch east indies ideally we should hope to do this and capture all the netherlands victory points without a fight oh thanks germany And there you have it, that's Netherlands dead. We're just going to take all states and leave the Dutch East Indies alone, ironically. Eventually, we will be drawn into a war of Japan, and that war is unnecessary for either achievement, so... Just leave the Dutch East Indies. Satellite them if you want, and if you feel like you can, do the fight with Japan. I just don't want to fight Japan. There we go, that's everything. And next, immediately, we are going to justify on the Philippines. If you've seen my video on Germany, you know what strategy is coming next. But there we go. Now we're going to send Army 1 all the way to Curacao. There we go. And until the troops are ready, we're just going to leave the rest in Germany, but eventually we're going to send them to Suriname. So just keep training up the units so you have 72 units to invade the United States with. And if you want to upgrade things like intelligence, do stuff like cryptology. Make sure, with the exception of the tanks, so we'll unselect them, you have all of Italy's divisions set to this template that we made earlier. Just a simple 20 width. It's not the best, but it will do. We're hoping to use our tanks to mostly encircle the Americans. Right, it's the start of April now. Well, pretty much. There we go. Now is the time, unfortunately, to send your units to Suriname. Do this as late as you feel is necessary. The less, the less they're there, the less they attrition. Right, it's April 29th and our justification on the Philippines is ready. So put the ships on strike force, make sure the units are ready to go, and declare war on the Philippines. We have a limited time before America puts its navy out. So we should be able to land immediately, which we seem to do, and we should go. Oh, thank you, Germany. Now, Miami will be defended, but that's why I'm landing on such a wide front. And there you go, America is done for now. Let's just annex the hell out of them. <laughs> Don't need anything else. Not even the Philippines, I'm not dealing with them either. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> now the next step, preventing us from glory, is the filthy democracies. So let's prepare for war with them. Right, we now need to prepare for our war with the Allies. Now, we are going to need a load of more units to do, do this. Not just to invade the UK, but to invade France. So, what we are going to do, and not just from upgrading our military, because that is definitely important, we are going to need a lot more units. I think for the main force, we're going to need at least 120, so we're going to train at least 72 more of these. Now, we don't have the equipment or the manpower, but we can easily get both. I've just jumped up to extensive conscription. We are also going to send as many quite a few units to the Dominion of Canada's border because I do not want another situation where Canada becomes a major power. That was a nightmare that I hope to only experience once in my life. 
but also we're going to send one army just to deal with the French border because France can't really push us but you know the last thing we want is for France just to wipe us out because we left the border undefended additionally we, we have built some forts there well we got some forts by a focus right it's December 31st and it is time for our next justification which will be on British Malaya 140 days now we're going to have to prepare our naval invasion. In the meanwhile, before this, I've also upgraded our tanks to be 40 whips. We just need that. In fact, there's one more tank ready. Let's deploy that. Oh, nice. We'll also assign it to the division of the tanks. And let's just shift around a little bit. There we go. Now, for this naval invasion, we are going to hit from the North Sea and the Eastern North Sea. So we are going to plan quite a big naval invasion. We need to hit as many ports as we can, preferably Yorkshire and Northern England. So let's do that. Right, this is what we're doing. We're hitting around 10 units on a wide front as we can. Those tanks are mostly going to the south and we're trying to hope to split England and half around Liverpool or so. We need to capitulate them and France for this. Right, our justification is ready. Let's put our navy on strike force here and here and declare war on British Malaya. This will be a tough fight, but I think we'll be able to do it. Luckily, we have left port immediately. Well, that is insane, insanely lucky. We've managed to make landfall in the UK to no resistance. Now, I'm not going to send all 48 divisions here. That would just kill our supply zone. We'll put these units here on backup in case we need it. But we'll send the 48 over that we have. But it looks like the UK may have shuffled around its divisions recently. Right, that's the UK down. Now we only have France, who I suspect will be more defended, but France's AI has been quite stupid. As you can see, they've been smashing the head on our line. But that's okay. <laughs> the front line here is stable, relatively. No chance of Canada becoming a major quickly. So we'll try and rush down Paris. We'll summon another army also to help for this. France can be a tough opponent. And make sure you send the Navy into the channel. Risky, of course, but you have to do it at this point. Germany is about to do Molotov Rimtrop Pack, so we have time before Danzigal War. For focus, do whatever the hell you want at this point, it don't matter. <laughs> of course, use the tanks again, hit a wide front, and then go for Paris. Yes! 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 France is gone! <laughs> and with that, the Allies too. Huh, we even got Canada, probably due to our boys being there. And luckily, no Germany involved! <laughs> so, I think for France, we're going to take everything. It seemed fitting to me. <laughs> for Canada, we're going to take everything. For the UK, we're also going to take everything, but we're going to leave the home islands so we can keep the UK as our puppet. UK always makes for a good puppet in this situation. They're just so good at naval invading, and of course we could take their fleet if we really wanted to. There we go. Now we puppet the rest. Do we want to satellite the Raj? Yes. And we'll leave Malaya to its own fate with Japan. Again, I don't really want to fight them in the moment. Kaboom. Yes, Okay, Portugal, we may as well buy our ships. Don't know why you'd want to, but you may. Now, at this point, whatever happens is truly random. We may as well finish off the Allies, which are probably led by Australia. Yep, they are. 
Oh, they even have Malaya in them, which is funny. <laughs> probably means Malaya could end up as the leader of the Allies eventually. So what I'm going to do is probably just to find someone like Mexico and then do some cheeky naval invasions of New Zealand and attack South Africa so we can just take them all down in one go. But whatever happens now is honestly whatever you want it to be. This game can go in whatever direction. So there will probably be a big cut now to around 1945 when I have nuclear weapons developed. Because I can't necessarily tell you exactly how it will, how you can do this. It will just depend on how you want to do it. So, But I can tell one thing for you that will definitely come in handy. Research landing craft and make sure you get nuclear research. This league can get a boost for nukes. I'll be seeing ya. <laughs> And welcome back. As you can see, we now have our first nuke. In the meanwhile, I was listening to things like ABBA, Music and Kaja while doing a basically a world conquest. We're pretty close. So now what we're going to do is go to the Occupied Territory screen and find the United States. As you can see, I've conquered so many countries, so it'll be a pretty moment. All the way down at the bottom, United States. We will not release them as our puppet. Oh, we're going to lose so many factories doing this, but whatever. But since our tension is high, oh well. Justification will take a moment or two, but whatever. <laughs> and somehow the Olympics are still taking place and Amelia Earhart has disappeared. The US shouldn't have too many troops in this time, or pretty much anything. We'll just have these armies of ours prepare and take down the United States. I would have hoped that the justification would have been 10 days, but I... whatever. Huh? 115 d days, whatever. See, see you in that moment. <laughs> right, our justification on America is ready. Let's get them again. <laughs> but of course, let us not forget the nuke. I'm sure many of you have wanted to do this in California, and I'm going to do plenty of them because I have five nukes. <laughs> and there you go. As you see them there, Deuce Newton. If you Yep, I haven't actually done this achievement yet. This is the first time I've done it. <laughs> there we go. And now we will just finish up this war with the US, and then we'll get the rest of these little countries. No one can stop me or Japan or anyone, realistically. And just for good measure, I nuked Washington, D.C. Just for this unique event. <laughs> And once again, America is done. <laughs> and yet again, just take all states. Out of that, I got a few cheap war goals, so that will make taking down some of these countries a bit quicker. So now I'm just going to take down the rest of them and get my other achievement. I'm not in position, but the war goal is about to go, so... Yeah, this is not very convenient. Now my war goal in Uruguay is ready too. Oh, we're all out of position. That's Argentina. Time for Uruguay. Back just in time as the war goal expired very soon. <laughs> and now let's get Uruguay. And nuke them for good measure if we can. Yep. There they go. Right, my next justification is on Norway. I'm going to let Germany deal with that. I don't really want to. We can get a justification on Mongolia for 205 days. And then we'll go after Poland, which still exists because of reasons. Wait, wait. The Bulgarian Regency Council has proclaimed itself emperor. Oh, 
Jeebus. Seriously? The Regency Council is now Emperor? Who can't be Emperor of Bulgaria at this point? But luckily they've declared war on Turkey, which will hopefully save us a war. Well, it's our time again. Let's go and get Mongolia and see if we can't get some cheaper war goals from this. Oh god, is Turkey going to join? No, thank goodness. Right, I think the one for this should be Paraguay. There we go, there goes one goal there. And let's give them to China. That was a claim they had around this time, right? There we go. I waited some declaring war for Poland, because I got, can't declare war on them without asking for some help, namely Germany's help, but I just didn't want a faction to be formed for nothing. There we go. Now let's close this light of Poland forever. And there you go, Poland is now lost, and we'll give it to German Czechoslovakia as they have a core. Aren't we nice? Now next will be our war with Paraguay, that will be fun. What the hell are you talking about Germany? You are Scandinavia at this point. Oh, there goes Turkey, what have they done to it? Oh sweet bejeebus, that is some um, disgusting border gore. Almost PKI, that is. Fun fact, Bulgaria can call this state. <laughs> but I doubt we'll see them do it. Right, our justification on Paraguay is ready. Now let's declare war on them. And before we start, we'll do our final justification on Switzerland. 115 days, and the light of democracy will be extinguished forever. And there they go. And now we just go to the final domino. Oh, for goodness sake, why? Why is this a thing? Why? Germany, you literally gave up core to this. Germany, why the hell would you do this? And only imagine what will happen when German Russia appears. Oh well, for Switzerland, it's now their day of reckoning. Time for you to die. But since I have so many of them, let's see if I can't use nukes one more time. Right, let's nuke every single tile they have. Boom! Oof, I may have just killed most of the Swiss army in one, one swoop. Oh dear. <laughs> Oof. Can't even see. I can't see. Right. That should do it. There you go. New world order. Whew. Some additional things I forgot to mention was like how I eventually changed my infantry to be 14-4s in and how I used the trick of being a war of a major to get quicker war goals so I could smash through multiple countries like Mexico and um, the Central American nations and, and the like. But yeah, it it's over now. This has been me, Bubble Zest, doing a guide to, to Deuce Nukedom and New World Order. The world is now in a very, probably quite depressing place now, but mm, that's hoi for sometimes, isn't it? But if you like, like this video, leave any suggestions in the comments below. Always looking for new video ideas. But again, thank you for watching, and goodbye.